But you're still determined to see Dr. Culver. Yes. Honey, I read that he has helped more women get pregnant and deliver healthy babies than almost any other OBGYN in the country. Well, I'm not sure that we need help in the getting pregnant department. Yeah, well, I will take any and all help I can get. What if, we, what if we put you on one of these new fertility drugs and we wind up with, like, six babies? Yeah, well, would that really be so bad? No. I've always dreamed of having a large family, actually. Yeah, me too. I'm really looking forward to my appointment with Dr. Culver tomorrow. You know, not just for us, but I'm finally going to be able to get the chance to ask him about Beth Wallace. Honey, I know she's up to something. What's the real deal here? Okay, are you seeing Dr. Culver in hopes of getting pregnant? Or is it just a dig up dirt on Beth Wallace? Why does it have to be just one or the other? It's both, okay? Mm -hmm. Honey, I want to get pregnant again as soon as possible. But what harm could it possibly do to just ask the doctor a few questions about Beth's home delivery at the same time? I, I just think you're grasping at straws here. The same way you think Sheridan is because she refuses to stop believing Beth's baby is hers. Maybe. No. No. Honey, I have had my suspicions about Beth for as long as I can remember now, even before she, you know, was supposedly pregnant by Louise. Honey, do you remember she could not even answer the simplest questions about prenatal care? Yes, yes, but she explained all that. Okay, she said she hadn't been able to afford a doctor. Uh, and did Beth ever hear of a free clinic? No, Ethan, that is no excuse. Right, and then, and then as soon as I get on her case, all of a sudden she's having regular appointments with some renowned obstetrician? Or so she says? Honey, I think that this guy could be the key to this whole thing. Well, just don't be disappointed if all your suspicions turn out to be unfounded, okay? Well, I won't be, because I don't think it's going to pan out that way. I really, really think Beth is lying. And it wouldn't surprise me if Beth was never pregnant. Excuse Mrs. Winthrop. The doctor says you can go home tonight. Hey. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, I will get dressed right away I then. I can't wait to get you back home. Oh, me neither. But honey, there's uh, just one stop I would like to make along the way, okay? Sure, where to? It's a surprise. Just trust me. Uh, okay, but if it has anything to do with Beth Wallace, I am... Nope, not this time. But you have to admit, there's definitely something a little strange about her. Honey, honestly, I've never noticed it. I'm, I'm sorry, but every time I've seen her, she's been perfectly normal, whether in the book cafe or in any social situation. Ethan, she tried to kill me more than once. You have no proof of that. Not yet, but I intend to get it. And listen to me, okay? It all makes sense if you just accept the premise that the baby that Beth is trying to pass off as hers and Louise's is really Sheridan's. Honey, as much as I love Sheridan, I don't buy it. Neither does Louise. And frankly, I'm surprised that you're giving Sheridan's fantasy any credence whatsoever. Just think about it, okay? Both babies were presumably born at the same time. Nobody's ever found the body of Sheridan's infant. And more than that, Beth's baby has bonded in the most incredible way to Sheridan and vice versa. He won't even eat unless she's nursing him. Now, how do you explain that? I don't know. I'm a lawyer. I'm not a doctor. If Beth is hiding something about her baby, then I intend to find out what it is, which is why my appointment with Dr. Culver is so important. Okay? Okay. So, would you mind getting me my coat? I think it's uh, in a closet in the hall or no something. No problem. Thank you. Can't stick around. I gather Gwen Winthrop has some questions about you. Well, I don't know about what, but I can't stay, okay? I gotta run, doctor. Well, then I'll just do my best to tell the woman whatever she wants to know on my own. Whoop. Ah, it's an emergency. Huh. What do you know? I was just gonna ask Dr. Culver some questions about you, Beth. Well, I'm afraid they're gonna have to wait, Mrs. Winthrop. I have a patient down the hall in distress. If you'll excuse me. Yeah, and I was just gonna go. Yeah, why am I not surprised? Really, Gwen, it seems like you'd have much more on your mind than giving me a hard time. Yeah, you're right, Beth. You know, at the top of my list is getting my best friend released from the psych ward as soon as possible. Yeah, 
I don't think they're gonna discharge Sheridan. She's obviously got a very loose grasp on, on reality, so. Why, because she keeps insisting that your baby's hers? Well, we'll just see who has a loose grip when I'm finished with you, won't we, Beth? Let's keep it. All right, so what is this big surprise you wanted me to see before we go home? It is right here. Oh, God. They're amazing. Hey, hey. You sure you want to be here? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll be, we'll be, we'll, we'll be back here soon enough with our own new baby. That's right. You know, honey, I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to be the best father I can be. There were so many things I wanted to do with Sarah, you know, like teach her and show her. Oh, honey, and you would have been. Is it possible to, to miss something that you never had? I don't know, but I do. Do you understand that this is why I have to help Sheridan, you know, sweetie, even if it's just a one in a million chance that her baby is still alive. You know, we have to, we have to try and prove it and get him back to her. You know, maybe if that happens, you know, it might be like a little part of Sarah's back here with us. You're like a mother lion sometimes, you know. I just really hate seeing people separated who should be together. You know, like mothers and their babies and people who were in love, like Louise and Sheridan. I just really hope that at the end of this terrible time that they can find their way back to each other. Oh, you know, I think I'm just one of those women who's wanted to be a mother as long as I can remember. You are going to be terrific. Well, you know what they say, once you become parents, your lives are never the same. Well, I am not worried. I think it's going to make our lives even more wonderful. Yeah, busy, too, if you start up on those fertility drugs. Yeah, well, the more children, the merrier. Maybe Sheridan will have her baby back by then, and, you know, our kids can play together. We'll see. <laughs> I honestly believe that there's a chance that Beth's baby is really Sheridan's? Honey, if Sheridan says he is, then that's enough for me. Okay, and I have a feeling that once I talk to Dr. Culver, I will finally be able to prove it. And Sheridan and her little boy will be reunited. <laughs>